Hungry Bunnies. I have um, just done my boot camp. I've actually just cleaned up the breakfast, the aftermath of the breakfast. The kids have just eaten. Um, but yeah, I've been out since half five, obviously back to boot camp routine. It's Monday. It's actually really good. It was so blooming cold outside. Like, oh my God, it was like minus one. But it's supposed to be like 14 degrees today. So the difference is quite a lot. Um, yeah, the house obviously is tipped upside down. Graham literally just dragged our bed out of our room. He's ripped up the carpet already. Um, ready for the carpet fitters today. I'm super excited um, just to kind of get it done um, and hopefully kind of get a bit of normality back. But this is the current state situation of our house. <laughs> Lovely green carpet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can't wait for that to be done. Violet's room. That's where she slept last night. Did you get your clothes out, Vi? Back from school today, Vi. You are going to have new carpet. And then when it all painted. Wow, we're not going to have Well, those paint. two look different, those pink Do they? One's dark, one's well, one's a little bit darker because we put the green, didn't we? I tried the green, I didn't like it. The olive colour. And then we did the heartwood on here, which is that one. Which I really like. So I think that's going to be this wall, but I actually need to obviously buy a full tin. Right, are you going to get dressed for me, missus? Look at that sky. We've also got the gentleman coming in to finish off the ensuite today as well. So everything is getting done. And the only thing that's going to be left, obviously, the painting. Uh, Graham's actually, he did say he was going to do the two coats on here. Because obviously I've been doing all the painting, but we'll see because it depends how much time he has. And then Violet's obviously room needs painting. But it's going to feel like we can start moving things back in. Um, and just like, having our bed back in place. I've given Graham a bit of like inspiration ideas for headboards. I really want one of those driftwood or kind of pallet wood headboards that you just make like DIY. We have loads of pallets, obviously. Um, we just, I don't know where he gets them from. I think it's I just you when he gets orders for things. And I was like, do you think you could make, like, bosh one of these ones together? And he was like, oh, I think I could do that. So potentially might be having a pallet headboard, which I'm excited about. It's dropped off. It is two minutes to nine. It's now five degrees. It's still blooming cold. As you can see, two, two. Got my main man. We've just come to the kind of where I park to, to like, run in and we walk into Moors Valley. I've got to get out of the house because obviously we've got the people putting carpets in, we've got the man finishing off the ensuite, and I just want to stay out of the chaos. So me and you are going for a run uh, since it's supposed to be a nice day, and to be honest, it's really nice and sunny. All right, we're having a little bench stop. So about 20 minutes with a few little breaks, haven't we, Chew? He's been seeing many dogs. There's a little bench with this like gorgeous tree view. <laughs> so warm now. I'm absolutely sweating. This doesn't help. God, it's so nice. We met so many little dogs and big dogs on the way. Generally quite quiet though. Oh. He's loving it, the smells, you know. It's home. We just had Sky come in. I didn't realise, Graham didn't tell me that Sky was coming in to fit our new Sky Q and Netflix in. So we've just had Sky in. He's done now, thankfully. Literally got the carpet fitters coming in about, oh, whoops, put your rabbits out. In about five minutes. And super happy. I just want to quickly show you, but the bathroom's done. Yes, all that is done. It's a lot later now. Um, Basically, Graham kept going on and on about the, well, not on and on, but he did say that the carpet fitter was coming at 11, and I was like, he got to about 12 o'clock, started having lunch, and I was like, are you sure they're coming at 11? Because they still weren't here. And he was like, oh, well, they estimated it at 11. They ended up coming at like quarter to one. So yeah, it's all done now. I've actually just picked up the children from school. I feel so tired. I don't know if it's the weather, like it's really warm, and I don't know. I'm just back to routine i just feel absolutely exhausted but anyway um so i haven't really done much but this is the carpet 
It's quite light, isn't it? Um, yeah, I'm really happy. It's really soft as well. And then we've got violets is the same, which is also really nice. And I think that colour is going to go really nicely. And I did, I did actually, the lighting's terrible. Um, I did actually nip out to B&Q while the carb fitters were here. I nipped out to B&Q to get Hotwood the paint. So, <laughs> I'm going to look like I've just woke up because I've just woke up. I literally had like a little, when we got back from the school run, I just felt so drained. I've got a PT lady coming tonight or client coming tonight. I just feel absolutely exhausted and I don't even feel like I'm, I'm with it. So I was like, right, I'm just going to, I literally just laid on the sofa. I let the kids, what I usually do, let the kids play on their tablets for an hour. Four to five minutes to an hour every day after school. Um, let me know what how long your children have their tablets for. I am quite restrictive purely because I feel like there's way more things to do in the world than just play on a tablet. All they do is play games. Um, but yeah, I usually give them 45 minutes to an hour after school. Um, so they've had that time. I just kind of woke myself up at like quarter past four it is now just after five i see graham's out there with alistair the kids basically oh and violet they've all just gone outside um ages ago actually when i told them to get off the tablets because i was like for god's sake it's a gorgeous afternoon before it gets dark go out and get some fresh air they've been in school all day um anyway i'm cooking dinner uh, me and Graham cooked, or Graham cooked chicken yesterday, it's gone cold. We had a little bit for lunch yesterday, but we've got so much left over. So we're gonna have that. I'm cooking the boys chips. Me and Violet are gonna have rice, because we love rice. For some reason, Alistair just doesn't like rice. He does eat it occasionally, but he's just not not rice person. So me and Violet are gonna have this. Um, and yeah, that is pretty much speedy dinner. Does she look to eat and then sort myself out. And I put on some edamame as well. We haven't had these in ages, and I bought a bag in the delivery that you. They're basically just little soybeans, but I buy them already. Um, still, just still left in their pods, so the kids love just popping them out. Bed, yay! But Grace, stop putting the headboard on because he's building me one. I think I've mentioned that already. But yeah, beds in. Happy about that. We got a king size bed, by the way. If you're wondering, like on sizings. Um, and then this is where our built-in wardrobe is going to go. I've just finished my PT with my lady. She's done six sessions so far and she's booked in for another six, which is really nice. She's so lovely. Um, yeah, I think I've showed you the rest. We've still got a blooming massive hole in our, in our thing. Wall. Um, but yeah, the room is finally coming along. What are you doing? This is Violet's setup at the moment because... Obviously, yeah, I'm going to paint that wall tomorrow. Which one has that pink up with it? Okay. Woo! Okay. Wow. Gold no, Come on, do come on, and Ooh, who's this sexy man? I'm just going to do a handstand cartwheel. Boom. I think everybody, two kids absolutely sound asleep. And it is 7 a.m. Well, it's just had breakfast. I've just been into Alistair. He has been going through a growth spurt recently. He's sleeping so much. Literally, on a Friday, Saturday night, he's been putting himself to bed at like, actually he's been falling asleep on the sofa at like seven, half seven. Definitely going through a growth spurt. He's potentially going through this whole team thing, you know, where they just want to stay in bed for ages, because I remember doing that. And I know he's, at, like, he's approaching 10, but yeah, it just, he's, he's changing so much. It's just crazy. Um, he's even getting spots, which I think I mentioned before. Um, he's got like a little, he's not little, but like a teenager face wash. Um, because, yeah, I, I don't remember getting spots that early, but if he's got skin like me, then he's going to end up suffering with spots, which I'm really disappointed about passing on this spotty gene. Just having a quick sort out, it's half past seven, quick sort out. This is literally gym stuff and like jumpers. I haven't seen these jumpers in five months. I'm not even joking. So it makes me kind of think, hmm, do I really need that many? Um, because they were... Obviously the bed was stuck around that way and the, the drawer was here and I never got to the drawer. But I did pull out this drawer and this one's in the office because obviously I need gym stuff. My, my bed are organised. My long sleeves at the back, I've got the kind of cotton style 
trousers. Usually I wear these for like boot camp and if I'm teaching or something and not actually having to really work out and they're just comfy generally. These are my actually gym leggings. I've got a couple more pairs that are in the wash, some towels that I use for the gym and teaching and then these are all my tanks. I've got loads of tank tops and then I've sorted out my kind of gym jumpers those ones at the back is what i've been wearing pretty much the whole five months just these ones and i think this one as well but yeah i do really like these ones as well and these are just extra kind of day ones i suppose i might even put them in my actual jumper cupboard for like cash like normal wear i'm home from school and, and i have just masked this wall obviously all around just to make sure i don't get anywhere because it's quite a dark color uh, look how different it looks before you put it on the wall. So I'm going to put another coat of white on this because obviously this one needs doing. It's only had two coats um, and especially around the edges it needs doing. And then uh, it'll probably be lunch by then. And then I'll probably have like a, a lunch break and then crack on with the second coat. one coat down how lush is that color i am so in love with it i just think it's such a nice do you know what actually it was very very similar to the movie color that was on here apart from it was a bit more purple this is obviously more of a pinky truffly color but that is one coat and honestly like it will need one more coat like a light coat i've done like quite a thick uh coat obviously around the edges definitely going to need a little bit more but yeah, it went on like a, a dream. I made myself a nice cup of tea. I am going to venture into the shed. I need to find another tray. I definitely know we've got more. Um, and then I can start on the white behind me. I'm not sure. I'm still so unsure about what colour I should do the doors. I don't know whether to keep them white. And just make them more white, obviously, because obviously it's really patchy. But I was considering doing it this colour, obviously, behind me. But I'm not sure if it will darken the room too much. Obviously, this room isn't massive. Lunch break. As you can see, I painted the doors. Oh, God. Graham convinced me that I should paint them. And to be honest, it's very similar to what I was saying to the other colour that was there. You can kind of see the difference, but it's very similar. Um, oh, absolutely knackered. It's half past 11, I feel like I've done a lot. I've gone over the white, I've done two coats of the heartwood on the wall. I've done one coat on the doors. So we're so nearly there. The only thing obviously, once the walls are painting, then I need to do the woodwork, which is the most tedious bit. And also I wanna paint her door, obviously. Our doors are still unpainted. And they have been for like nearly a year. <laughs> it's crazy really. Um, Anyway, I am going to get some lunch. I feel like I'm missing out on this gorgeous weather. But I feel like I need to get this done. Oh, I'm not actually too badly covered in paint. Not as bad as I was before. Right, I am off to work. Um, yeah, I've got a couple of PTs to do and then I go straight from there to the school run. So I'll see you back later. Violet's room is pretty much done. Like I mentioned, the woodwork that really needs doing. Um, but generally her room is Company. I have been a busy, busy bee. I have been faffing around in Violet's room. Oh, still much, still so much to kind of do, like make her bed. Graham's going to do all that, like build her bed again. Um, but yeah, it's looking good and it's really coming together and it looks really nice. I'm actually cooking dinner. Um, I'm doing sausage, mash and beans for everyone tonight, but I'm actually meeting my friends tonight. I'm going to my friend's house for pizza. Pizza night, which I'm really, really looking forward to. I've been narrowing Violet's storage down and I've got her, I said I was gonna bring our trust of drawers in, so I've done that. And uh, I put her new curtains up. I actually got her, God, ages ago. I think it was like summer, next summer sale. I got, I got a fitted sheet. And I got a bed cover. Curtains, the um, bed set and the fitted sheet for £25. Pounds. You're going to put these. Bargain. So, yeah. Um, but these are, I thought they were really sweet. They're, they're a bit different. They're not much different, actually, from my other ones. She had trees before, didn't you? But those ones were so old. She had them since she was two and they were just old, weren't they? We Looking a bit grey. Have a, her bed here. 
So we're going to keep that as a little bedside table and her bed along here, which is basically where it was before, wasn't it? But we had more space that side. I'm going to get her, a, I'm trying, I'm going to look tomorrow and see if I can get you like a slimline desk to go there. Some messages and feedback on the bed situation. Can't see me. Yeah, the bed situation. And um, most people have said that they've got high sleepers or mid sleepers for their child being younger than Violet to start with and now they're because obviously Violet's approaching um, 8 in October um, now their kids like 8, 9, 10 they're saying that they want a normal bed and no longer want a sort of bunk bed style so I think I'm going to just stick with the bed that we've got I mean it's a nice bed it wasn't cheap and yeah it's still in perfect condition come in bye come in bye here she comes! Hey. Here she comes! Oh, oh here he comes. That's black. Whoa! Blackberry! Here! Yeah. Blackberry! He's so weird! So hungry! Starved! He's so weird! Why is he weird? Oh, oh my god, he's starving! Come on. <laughs> Is that Karis? Yep. Where's Blackberry. her baby? One of those ones, I suppose. Blackberry's mum's not happy. That's Blackberry's mum. It's so big. <laughs> Oh, look. It's just done boot camp. The kids are sorting their breakfast out. I've got most of it out for them. Look how light it is, 7 a.m. Um, yeah, I'm just about to hop in the shower. It's my day off today. I need to wash this hair and sort my life out. Oh, look. Oh, it's all steamy. Yeah. I'm gonna put my face on. I need to get ready. It's half past seven. We've just been, I've actually been folding washing put the dishwasher on, tidying up, obviously I had a shower, I still need to dry this hair, um, but yeah, I thought I'd show you what I'm using on my face. I'm not sure if I really like it, it's quite sticky, um, it's called the IT Cosmetics, it, or IT CC Plus Illumination, um, sort of, oh it is full coverage, I thought it, maybe I bought the wrong one, because there's a few versions, I think I bought the wrong one, I was think I was supposed to buy the silver one, which, because I bought it online, see, which um, was more of like a, a lighter sort of foundation or like a BB cream. This is a CC Plus Illumination. Anyway, it's not my favourite, but it is nice. I've got it in the shade Light, which actually is not that light. It's still quite dark. And then I put a blob of my L'Oreal True Match in one end, which is a lot lighter. And just pop it on on days like today I've got no I'm not working out you know I don't have to go to work or anything so I don't have to get sweaty so I can wear like a full coverage face sometimes it's nice just to put a full face on you know I'm just going to use this palette which is a Kate Moss palette and then for my lips I've been using the Elizabeth Arden um, eight hour cream. It's really nice. It's like a really thick balm. We are ready to go. Right on time. It's eight o'clock. House is still an absolute pigsty, but it's fine. Right, Alistair, are you going to put coat on? No, it's not cold. It is cold. What? New shoes on. I went for a, can you see? It's like a silver converse. I was going to go white. Because I always go white or blue usually. I've still got blue ones, but my white ones are absolutely wrecked and I can't get the stains out of them even through the wash. But I thought I would go for shiny silver. Cute. 
I've arrived. I have dropped the kids off at school. It's been freezing this morning. It's seven degrees now. Over the forest, it started getting warmer. Um, yeah, it's 17 minutes past nine. I've just arrived in Ikea. I'm looking to get a few bits, really, for our bedroom. Um, I want to look at wardrobes and take a few pictures for Grey, because obviously we need to pick a wardrobe out very soon. And I think we're probably going to go with Ikea, because the range of storage is really good. Obviously, the prices are really good. Um, and yeah we're really looking for a kind of personalized space obviously because we have quite an awkward shape and not actually that much room really so um and one thing i want to do get we do want to get if i can um is violet a little desk looking at some stuff set up i think i haven't seen this before they've got loads of new stuff in that i just haven't seen before but i think that's pretty cool we like this shelving mirrored Thing as well which is quite cool that's 45 pounds sofa is actually really nice isn't it i'm not usually into ikea sofas i think they look quite some of them don't look that comfy but that's actually really nice this tiny little chair i love this like wickery basket i love this sort of woven style rug i kind of want to find one though that's more neutral and less like colorful these in my studio i <laughs> love this i think if you put like glass doors on these are different as well. I haven't seen these before with the glass front. They're only £30 a drawer. This, this is new. I call that for like washing. I like that actually. It's quite standard, but it's got quite a bit of mirror. You can add extra. That's quite good. What does that do? Does that just. Oh, it opens. Oh, that's cool. Look at that. Huge this one is. I think that's like a, over two metre, or at least two metre. And then we've got a tab. See, that's pretty cool. Lots of storage, hanging, drawers. So many to choose from. Oh my God, I'm still walking through them all. A lot of these are like single storage though. Oh God, there's just so many. I think I definitely need to bring Graham and we can just have a really good chat about the sizing. The light breakfast, so I might get something from here, like a bacon roll and a cup of coffee or something. Oh, I'm looking for a freestanding mirror. My, I actually really like that because obviously in my ensuite you can't have anything on the wall because there's a obviously a big window. That's exactly what I'm looking for. That one, I like this one actually. Got a trolley. This is where it starts, doesn't it? I've already got a couple of hanging fake plants in there. Cushion section. So there's so many to choose from. Want some new covers for our pillows? They're quite cheap in here as well. I'm just looking for the right size. All the colours, they've got way more than they used to have. I feel like I haven't been here in ages. I definitely am going for the more neutral colours. This sort of... In the rugs area, I've actually picked up two rugs. But I'm not going to show you everything because I'm going to do a separate haul, which you'll probably see before this video. But, yeah. They've got, oh my god, I love this one. It kind of looks like pebbles two door, door rugs though because we needed two new ones because they are disgusting. Trying to get some bathroom inspiration because we need something for storage. I actually quite like that. I like the fact that it's really slimline. It looks quite clean. It can probably go up against our wall that's this side, you know, where the toilet is. It's only 30 quid. Quite like that. Clever as well over the toilet. We could also have something. I actually want to get a towel rail. Obviously need some hooks actually in our bathroom we have nothing at the moment They're quite nice any decisions so much amazing ideas in here oh my god picking up this desk for violet 40 pounds hey i am out of ikea blimey it's quarter past 12 and um yeah oh god like you kind of load your basket up or your trolley and you think oh that's cheap that's cheap that's cheap and then it all adds up and you're like oh my god i spent that much in ikea on just stuff you know um anyway i've just come to asda we had a food delivery when we come back from holiday on friday last week and we just have nothing left literally no fresh stuff graham obviously it's farmer's market today so he will be bringing back fruit and stuff but yeah we need yogurts and crispies and just general day-to-day -day food so i'm going to quickly pop to asda um and get some essentials
I've just come home and I filmed my Ikea haul. Blimey, it was long. I swear it was like 20 minutes long, so I'm really going to have to chop it back. But I have done a massive haul. Really happy. Still got this room to sort out, Violet's room. I'll give you an overview, actually. I'm not sure if I've showed you. I think I probably did. Ooh. Right, anyway. Um, yeah, so I put her curtains in. Graham obviously sorted her bed out. <laughs> Graham put her unicorn on. I, we've had this for ages. I can't even tell you where it's from. But um, yeah, she was desperate to have it up on the wall, but Graham literally stuck it in a hole that we already kind of had a nail there. I don't know if it's staying there. <coughs> Her desk is going to go there, I think. I might just shuffle it up just a little bit, her bed. Because uh, it literally is only small. It probably is about that big, I reckon. The overview of the IKEA stuff. I got her this rug. Oh, my God. This rug is from B&M. Oh, my God. Look, this actually, this rug inspired me for that wall. Like, no joke. It was very, it's very similar in colour. And it was from B&M. It's not, like, super thick or anything. Um, but, yeah, B&M... £14.99 and it's a really good size as well. I'm just gonna make you buy everything now, aren't I? This is a problem. When you get those influencers to go to Ikea, you end up picking up the same stuff. I'm so bad for it myself. Um, right, I'm just gonna grab a quick drink and then I really need to get some stuff away. Um, also, my dad's coming over. He's gonna do a school run with me very soon. What's the time? It's 10 to 2, so I've got a bit of time yet. But we did have the electrician in today and he put the radiator in but <laughs> I don't want to moan but I am going to moan I don't really want it that low I wanted it higher I feel like it's really small um I, do you know when you come in you just kind of originally just put it up a little bit higher and you hang your towels on it so I kind of feel like I'm gonna have to have some maybe I put some shelves here actually Right, I probably won't see you now till a little bit later because I'll pick up my dad and um, he's just going to spend some time with us and the kids and stuff. So, yeah, I'll probably either catch you tomorrow or... Oh, I don't know, probably tomorrow actually. Good morning, everybody. Um, I've actually come back from school and I've been doing a little bit of washing, making my first cup of tea of the day. Um, today's obviously Thursday. And, oh my God, me and my dad were so busy last night. He helped me build Violet's, oh yeah, I guess thank you. Uh, Violet's desk looks really, really nice. Um, I'm really happy with how her room's turning out. I actually do have a few crates in her room that I need to organize. She has a lot of miscellaneous stuff that I need to either find new homes for or charity shop. Um, yeah, it's nine o'clock. I will be leaving for work in about just over an hour. I've got my spin class that I teach in the morning that I need to do. Um, and I usually do an hour of other stuff at work. So I've got two hours at work today. And then I am actually teaching, I'm covering this evening. So I'm covering just a small class tonight. So yeah, that is pretty much my day. It's pretty chill to be honest. Um, and I obviously I get my workout in when I teach my spin class. I've just been faffing, sorting out our rooms. Last night I was just so busy. You know when you just want to get everything put in its place? And I bought obviously quite a few bits from Ikea and I just wanted to kind of open everything and put everything away. And because it's bin day today, I wanted to make sure I got all the recycling ready and... Yeah, you know what it's like, Ikea packaging, they have so, everything's packaged up so much. So little desk, obviously she already had that stall. Um, but yeah, it's coming along really nicely. This is just a still bit of a mess. I've got um, her shelf that usually goes up here, but I've put it in our room for now because I really want to paint it. It kind of, it's more creamy, as you can see, compared to the white wall. It's a bit more of an off-white. So I want to freshen that up and paint that. But weekend job, I'm not going to be doing that right now. But yeah, these are these crates. There's just oh, miscellaneous stuff. You know, you just need to sort through things. <laughs> God, I've never known a little girl to have so much like books and stuff. Pencil case, like pencil case, like how many 
like she's got so many pens and books. Anyway, she loves drawing and writing, so I've put it all into one big box that will just go under her bed. I've got another one here. This one's full of slippers because she's a slipper mad, obviously. Um, so that is in there. And then this is just miscellaneous, really random stuff like squishies and LOL, like accessory weird bits that she still got and keeps. Um, I'm going to find a home for that. I need to find a home for that. This is some random stuff I need to find a home for. I'm going to put that with her books. Two little random purses, some hair stuff, some watches I need to put away. And this is her doll stuff. And I have already a box for her doll stuff. Just having a bit of a moment. Oh dear. My best friend's dad's moving to a hospice today. And I just feel it's just overwhelmed me. You know, when you just stop and think and just think how amazing life is and, you, and yeah you just feel so I just feel so sad for them and oh you kind of know it's gonna happen at some point and obviously they've been living with it and waiting for this day to kind of happen oh. Oh feel so grateful for life and and it's just so emotional to think anything can happen like life is just too short and it can literally just be taken away from you just like that i am home i am shattered as always when i get back from spin um it's five to one i know my ikea haul is ready but i need to do the thumbnail quick yeah, I'm just about to do lunch. I need to also um, put some washing away and put clean sheets on Alistair's bed. Lunch consists of cream cheese bagel and one of these little yogurts. They're actually for the kids, but um, there's one left and I got them some fresh ones yesterday. So loads of stuff. You can obviously have your own like Netflix account. The kids have got their own, so obviously it just limits of what they can watch. Um, and then um, I was, well actually Graham was like, oh, what do you want to, you know, what do you want to download that I probably won't want to watch? Um, so I was looking on Netflix and trying to find things I knew he wouldn't watch. And obviously tonight is the night that he goes to quiz night. So I get to watch my trashy stuff. Although I am working obviously a little bit. I should be back by seven though. Okay, back from school run. Two little monkeys are there. I've been a busy bee. Of course, I can never sit down and do nothing. So I did a few bits and bobs around the house. Um, and then I also cleaned our windows, but I still need to go over them. You know, I've literally like cleaned them as in like washed them down. Um, so I'm actually going to end up, I'm going to use this. I've got a little bit of, um, what is it called? So flora and water in there. And I'm just going to like proper shine them up. I'm going to, I should have done this earlier, but I actually just couldn't be bothered to do it earlier. But I'm making a fish pie for dinner tonight, so I'm prepping that. Cheese sauce on the go. I've literally just popped the cheese in, so I need that to melt down a little bit. There we go. Get in there. I've added a bit more milk. Fish pie stuff is together. So I've got the prawns, the frozen prawns, the frozen veg mix, the fresh fish stuff. And obviously to top it with mashed potato, and I've got some cheese to sprinkle on, and I'm going to pop it in the oven at about quarter past four for about 45 minutes. I'm going to finish off these windows. And then I've got washing to fold. This fish pie. Oh my God, how amazing does that look? So I'm going to dish that up for dinner. I'm actually going to eat when I get back. I'm going to have to leave very soon. It's already 10 past five. I'm actually going to have my papaya because one, it needs using up and two, I need something to just get me by until I get back at about seven. I'm home. <sighs> Violets and brownies. Uh, Graham's taken her there. She finishes at half past seven. So very, very soon. It's like just after ten past seven. Alistair's watching his Minecraft thing on Netflix. He's been loving the Netflix. I have to admit, he's probably been on it the most, like, and actually really tried it out. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have my fish pie. I'm starving. I never eat this late. Pie. Minecraft with my boy. Everybody, I look exactly the same as I left you last night. I've been doing boot camp this morning, so I just whip on my clothes again. Uh, Pickles, what are you doing? Pickles, they're naked, boy. They're naked, boy. Look, he had a groom. You looks like such an old man, don't you? You don't even look the same. Slowly but surely getting myself ready. It's half past seven. Kids, on the other hand, are not, but it's fine. We've got enough time. Clothes are out ready anyway. Um, 
Yeah, I'm actually getting my eyelashes done today. I think I mentioned it at the beginning of the week and I, I wasn't too sure because clearly I didn't write it in my diary, but I had a little, um, they do like text message reminders and had it on that like, Wednesday afternoon. Um, so yeah, I'm going in to have my eyelashes done. I'm actually in Violet's room. I have this jar, which um, I haven't really used and I didn't have anything in it. So I thought I would put her bows in, pretty much all of her hair bows. Yeah, I would say all of them are from the Bow Boutique. I have it linked in the description bar. So if you're looking for little girls, hair bows, hair bands, they have, obviously you can see the, the array of colors and they bring out new ones all the time, but they're all handmade beautiful bows um they do bow holders as well but i don't actually want this on her wall i actually made this myself i just hot glued it was originally a mirror and it smashed so i just hot glued some of this sort of like royal ribbon and i've just been pinning on pinning them on for years but i thought i would um just organize them better get rid of a few that i know that she just hasn't reached for for a long time because to be honest i don't know now she's like seven seven and a half she doesn't really wear hair bows that much and where she's at school all the time I find she just loses them <laughs> done um, I have just put a load of washing on I've emptied and reloaded the dishwasher I've whizzed around with the Dyson not too much because to be honest with the weekend obviously tomorrow the kids are around and it just it gets filthy so I try and clean on a Monday so I haven't done too much but I've just faffed around put a few bits back um, still got quite a lot of random stuff in here um, so I'm going to try and sort through a few things. Got the table clear. I'm really happy about that. Um, mine and Graham's clothes, well, are, some of our clothes are in that chest of drawers because obviously we swapped it with with Violet. Slowly feeling less cluttered. We've still got obviously lots of random stuff all over the place. Um, I'm just going to quickly walk the dogs. Have a great day today, as you can see. It's dry though, and it's actually pretty mild, which is good. Graham did uh, basically got the sheep out for a couple of days, about three or four days. And then he's put them all back because, um, well, the weather forecast obviously for the rest of the week looks quite wet and quite cold, so it's not good for the little lambs to get. Obviously, they're so young, aren't they? It's not much shelter out here. So they're back in. But yeah, the boys are having a field day. Chew's all the way over there already. Back up. Chew. Don't go. Thanks. Been doing a bit of editing. Lunch time, me and Graham Grace is back, so we are having tomato soup. Really fancy it, you know, we just, fan we just haven't had that in ages. Tomato soup, we've maybe got these little poppy seed, or big, should I say. Got them out of the freezer, these poppy seed bagels, I think we might have one of those with it. Lunch done, and I am making pizza for pizza movie night tonight. Very quick pizza day recipe. Go to shop, buy cremated. <laughs> Top it with own toppings. No, we are making pizza. Right, we've got the kids from school. There was a cake sale on. Picked up a bit of Rocky Road. I got Graham a little sprinkle cake. I love it when they do these. I was just got his annual report for March 2019. So I'm just reading through that. Wait, how's it? What's your report? How's it been? How's it been? How's it oh, been? Oh, there's your writing. What I have learned this year, my targets are... Stop. What? It's all perfect. Look at it. Very good. Wait. What? This report was really, really good. I didn't expect it to be anything less, to be honest. He loves school. Um, he does find it a challenge, but he loves it. And I think that's what matters, really. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to get in the shower. I know it sounds really weird to get in the shower this early, but... You know, I just I feel like I really want to warm up. I'm feeling really cold to the bone today. Uh, we've got the Rayburn going. But yeah, I think I just want to kind of get in my comfies since it's a Friday. This is one of the best buys that I got Graham. Do you remember when I got this from B&M for like $5.99? Honestly, this is like been one of the best buys since having this en suite is that we can just link up our Spotify. Me and Vi are cracking on with the pizza. 
it's up there. Let me get the pizza dough. That's how it looks. I do have a pizza dough recipe. It's very, very easy. In the recipe playlist. Super easy. You know, if you want, want to make it. Actually, I think this was Alistair's before yours. Crazy cat. Nice. Really there, while it's just doing the mozzarella. That's why I wanted You're to. You're just cut. having one bit in the middle. Mm -hmm. Why? Mm. Just cut them up a bit smaller, then we can sprinkle them over. Always washing to fold. Violet is picking a film. Show us film yet? So, pizza, this is how it's turned out. Looks pretty good. Got some little veggie snacks. I really wanted to try this little hummus stacker. Jalapeno, hummus, red pepper, and normal hummus. We've got a new Netflix film on. Well, it's not new, I don't think, but it's called Benji. We haven't seen it. It's just hopped into bed. We ended up watching two films on Netflix. That Benji, I think they were both hour and a half long. So Benji, and then we watched Pee Wee's Big Holiday. I wasn't that keen on that. To be honest, I was falling asleep through it all. Um, yeah, I'm absolutely shattered. Braves in the shower, as you can hear. Ooh. I think we're going to watch a tiny bit of TV before bed, even though there's literally nothing on, just normal channels. But um, yeah, that is going to be the end of my weekly vlog. I really hope you've enjoyed it. Let me know if you have. And um, have a great week. And yeah, hopefully I will sort of crack on with getting some more videos out. I know I've been slacking the last couple of months. I'm hopefully getting my mojo back. But um, yeah, let me know if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos and I will see you soon.